Hello everybody, welcome back to Hollywood Sports. Guys, just like the title says, the good old days are coming back. The good old days are coming back. And what I mean by that, guys, you remember back in the day, long, long time ago, guys, we had options. We had football options. We had 989 Sports um, with NCAA Game Breaker. We had NFL Game Day 2004, also made by 989 Sports. We had ESPN NFL 2K4, and we had NFL Fever 2004. Guys, we had options. We had a lot of options. And what I want to do is show you a little bit of those games, and we're going to talk about the good old days are coming back. Alright guys, now let's just look at these games I just mentioned. NFL Game Day 2004. Let's watch the gameplay. I want y'all to take a look at what we used to play back in the day in 2004. Just pay attention to the gameplay. The pass is complete to the running back. Good stuff right there, man. Good stuff right there. Yards on the play. All right, now let's take a look at NFL FIBA 2004 oh, dirty today. gameplay. I want y'all to keep in mind the gameplay we're watching right now. Keep in mind, I'm going to make a point later on in the video. Okay. Good player hey. movement, nice graphics back then. Good stuff, man. We had options. We had options. They'll run it. Nice run. If they can run the football okay, like okay. this, they're yeah, going to open yeah, that yeah, passing yeah, game yeah. up. Yeah, we had options, guys. We had choices. NFL 2K4. That could ESPN. Be a play. Absolutely. Let's watch their game play. And want to get some points out of this drive. First and 10. Ball at the 14-yard line. This was the best one out of the bunch. Best game out of the book. Anderson Let's check out the gets game. The play. Call on first down and picks up a couple. Okay, okay. I'm coming to a point, guys. Now we have uh, NCAA Game Breaker 2004 by 989 Sports. Let's watch the game. Play. Miami at the 44 yard line. Number seven drops the pass. Quarterback throws it. Incomplete. All right, cool. All right, guys, now let's talk about the day. We see Axis Football 18 coming out. We have Canucks Football coming out, Maximum Football coming out, the Canadian League. We have Gridiron Champions coming out with some college football. Immaculate Vision Gaming, we have Kyle Anderson, history, football history coming out. And we have, hopefully, maybe down, down the road, we have ESPN NFL 2K coming back. You know, Hip Hop Gamer seems to think um, NFL 2K is coming back, guys. And he's saying the year 2021 or the year 2022, um, NFL 2K is coming back. But then again, anyway, guys, it's just in the conversation. We don't know. But my point is, guys, you know, when we look at Axis football, we got Canuck Maximum Football. We got Gridiron Chances, Immaculate Vision Gaming. We have Kyle Anderson, guys, um, football history. And maybe some 2K down in the future, guys. See, that's what I mean by the good old days are coming back. The good old days are coming back, guys, where we have options. Now, these options don't compare to Madden. Get, get that straight right now, guys. They're not going to compete with Madden. They're going to compete in a small way that may push Madden in certain features where people don't take the attention away from Madden and put some of that attention on Axis or Canucks or Gridiron Champions. Some of that attention may come away from Madden, so that may might push Madden even harder. That's the only way I can see as far as the competition. But matching up game per game, game for game, there is no competition for Madden. Madden is long gone. Now, not saying they can't catch those guys once they get more money, like Axis. They're investing more money, their money that they make back into the game to make the game better. They want a simulation game just like everybody else. And now that they're going to console, Xbox, and PS4, and they're going to stay on Steam, PC, those guys are going to make more money, especially with going to console. So if they invest 90% of that money back into the game, 
Axis football is going to grow pretty, pretty fast. When he said they can hire more developers, they can do a lot more stuff. So I'm thinking Axis is going to be the closest thing. And then we got Canuck Canadians. Man, uh, Maximum Football. Those guys are pouring in all their resources. Man, but see, there's... They're giving us options, guys. They're giving us options. And that's what I mean by the good old days are coming back. Because remember I just showed you, I just showed you NCAA Game Breaker, NFL Game Day, ESPN, NFL 2K4. I showed you NFL FIBA 2004. Those were options. So, guys, those options are coming back, baby. They're coming back with these new football games. And who knows? If these guys are successful, who knows, there may be a company in the background we haven't heard about right now that maybe want to come out with a game. We don't know, guys, but I'm saying the market is starting to open back up. So that's what I mean by the good old, good old days of coming back where we have options, guys. And I'm going to play all those games. I'm going to play Axis. I'm going to play Canuck. And I'm going to play Gridiron Champions. And I'm going to play uh, Kyle Anderson's game, Football Hi History. I'm going to play all those games, guys, because you can't really talk about those games. At least I, I, I plan on breaking those games down and talk about how they can improve and send them in uh, to the developers, guys, because that's how they can make this game get better. Uh, I'm not just going to focus on Madden. I'm going to focus on all of them. Okay? So... That's what I'm going to do, guys, but that's uh, that's the video I wanted to make, guys, talking about the good old days of coming back where you, 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 and you, and me have more options. But don't get me wrong, guys. They are not going to compete with Madden. Not saying it's never going to happen, but for right now, they're not nowhere near close to Madden. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to make a point. The reason why I want you to watch the gameplay of those PS2-type, um, X original Xbox-type uh, games is because I don't think Axis, Canuck, uh, Gridiron Champions, now Gridiron Champions has the money and the resources. Maybe they can get close. Maybe they can maybe get close to NCAA 14, but that's going to be tough. That's going to be tough for the Gridiron, Gridiron Champions Immaculate Vision game. I mean, um, so we're going to see, guys. They have more money for resources to make a better game. But you know, Axis, uh, uh, Canuck, uh, uh, Maximum Football, and Kyle Anderson, football, uh, football history guys, they have a long way to go. They might not be at the level that we just saw on the PS2 games. They might not be at that level. So they have a long ways to go to compete with Madden. But at least guys, we have options. Especially for you guys that don't like Madden, can't stand Madden, want to see Madden burn to the ground, right? You guys have options, guys. And plus, you have, they're going to be customized option, uh, options. You know, Axe is going to have where you can customize the game and, and put some NFL games players in. Even college players in. However you want to customize that, baby. Uh, uh, Red Iron Champions, when they come out in 2020, they're going to have uh, customizable so you can make... Uh, uh, NCAA game um, and Kyle Anderson he's going to have a lot of uh, uh, versatile options we haven't seen nothing from him yet uh, but I'm pretty sure we will some I think his game's supposed to come out this year unless it gets delayed but we don't know what's going on with Kyle man hopefully um, I ho if you're watching this video Kyle I hope everything's going good with you man with football history um, again that would be another option but guys that's my point we, it's, they're not going to compete with Madden. That's why I wanted you to see that gameplay because you see how far they're going to go. And maybe those guys can get to a PS2 level. Their gameplay maybe can get to a PS2 level. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, guys, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Join the team of Hollywood Sports. And let's do it together because, guys, the good old days are coming back where we have options. And as always... Hopefully, I will see everybody on my next video. Thanks for watching.